Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am in such a good mood right now because I did a bit of experimentation with my breakfast like I usually do on these days that I record my what I, what I eat in a day videos. Uh, but I experimented today instead of usually like experimenting the day before to make sure that I've got it down and it came out so successful. So I'm very happy with that. And all of that is to say, let me share what I have for breakfast today because of course it's a what I eat in a day video. So what we have going on here is sourdough toast. I get the sourdough from uh, the farmer's market and when I don't, I get it from Wegmans, but this one is from the farmer's market and then at the very base is hot pepper jelly so I don't think I've had this specific hot pepper jelly before but I have had jams and jellies from the brand before so the brand is Stonewall and then on top is just egg so scrambled just egg I have like a low and slow method where I make the perfect scrambled just egg if you want that that is also going to be in the description box i have a recipe for it but you know just the basic seasonings that i usually put into it and then i put in some scallions slash green onion however you want to call it just for some added flavor and that's pretty much it you know i love me a salty sweet combination so i have a feeling this is going to be fantastic i'm gathering my thoughts right now that is so good it is super, super savory, but at the same time, it's pretty sweet. Like that hot pepper jelly is quite sweet, or at least in my opinion, I think it's on the sweeter end. But it does have a kick of pepper, which makes it so confusing in the best way in my head. Like it's sweet, it's very sweet, but it's also got a little bit of a kick and it's not spicy. Like it's not going to burn your tongue or anything like that but it has that little hint of heat just at like the back of your throat just this most subtle amount of heat and so that extreme sweetness with a little bit of heat at the base of it combined with my super super savory scrambled egg on top vegan of course is so good it's like a burst of flavors it's super super flavorful so 100 percent success this is probably one of the most flavorful combination of toast toppings that I've made in a really long time. This one is even more flavorful than the pizza toast, which is shocking because that was super flavorful too. But yeah, this has a huge combination of flavors. So if you're anything like me and you like those like nice mix of contrasting flavors, you're going to love this so much. I don't want to bad talk a brand or a product, especially when it's a vegan product, but just an FYI, just to let you know, I the Califia uh, creamer that says that it's like a cookie butter creamer, just know that it does not taste like cookie butter at all. It tastes like cinnamon. It just tastes like cinnamon creamer. That's all. Hello friends, it is lunchtime. I have had such a busy morning. I did a bunch of like switching around when it comes to like my Instagram account because I realized that my old account has kind of gotten revived. Um, and by my old account, I mean my Slow Morning Diaries that used to be Pies and Pros account. If you've been here long enough, you know that whole story. Long story short, it was a lot of switching around. It's been a mess, but if you're trying to find me on Instagram, uh, I will put my correct handle at this given moment either on the screen or in the very first line of the description box so you're not confused. Um, I know that might seem like spammy if you've been on my Instagram and you're like, wait a second, something slightly changed, but there's no spam going on. It is actually me. But anyway, we're talking about food. So this is what I have for lunch. I do have some takeout. I am hoping that this takeout is okay because it's been quite a few days since I had a really long weekend but fingers crossed for me. So what I have here is a wrap. Uh, ooh, it is super hot because I put it in the oven to kind of like heat it up. It is a chicken Caesar wrap. I can't even hold it. It's vegan chicken Caesar wrap, of course. And I've had this on the channel before. It is essentially just vegan chicken tenders. I'm pretty sure it's from Gardein. Uh, lettuce, and then there's like a vegan Caesar dressing in there. And 
obviously I get it from a local spot that does like vegan wraps and sandwiches and stuff like that. And then I just have like a very small handful of sweet potato fries that I had left over. So heated those up and because there's just like a small handful of them, I also added in a couple, a handful of kettle chips. These are the jalapeno kettle chips from, I'm pretty sure it's the kettle brand. I think that's what it's called, but I love jalapeno kettle chips. So yeah, we've just got this trio here. I'm probably gonna put some ketchup on the side for the sweet potato fries, but that is my lunch. Like I said, it's really hot. So let me give it a second while I go get the ketchup. My ketchup is also on, on its last leg here, <laughs> hoping that I have enough. Sweet potato fries are not usually my go-to. I usually stick with just regular fries, but whenever I get sweet potato fries and they're really good, they're really good. Got a lot of crisp going on and I'm very happy about it. I'm really afraid to bite this wrap because it's so hot, but I'm gonna do it for you. I think I revived it successfully. Uh, I did not anticipate it being so dark right now. I had to put on like the light in the kitchen because it is so dark. I think it's gonna rain, but it's not supposed to rain. So I don't know what's going on, but I am coming on to tell you about dinner. I have been very excited to make this dish. I've had it in my fridge, like plotting to make this recipe soon so i'm glad that i'm able to make it and share it with you so i'm making an udon noodle dish something along the lines of like a garlic soy udon noodle dish or maybe a yaki udon noodle dish but i have udon noodles i love udon noodles they might be my second favorite noodle shape uh my first being ramen but yeah, this is just a pack of frozen udon noodles. I think frozen is the best when you're trying to get this shape. Uh, but I also have some broccolini and I have some carrots. These I just, you know, prepped on the weekend so that I didn't have to do it during the week. Saves so much time. And then I also have this Wegmans brand, Don't Have a Cow, Meatless Crumbles. These are actually pretty impressive, especially for like a grocery brand. Wegmans has some really great plant-based options if you go into like their freezer section. So I am just going to saute this up with some seasonings, uh, just like Asian inspired seasonings. I'm not too sure just yet, but we'll figure it out. And then I'm going to add the vegetables into that mixture and set it to the side. Ooh. Set it to the side, and then I'm going to cook the noodles, just like boil the noodles and get them all cooked, and then make the sauce on the side. Like I said, I'm not too sure what kind of sauce I'm going with yet, but then once I make the noodles, once I make this, you know, mixture of veg veggies and vegan meat, and the sauce, then I will just toss everything together. That's usually my recipe or my process behind making any kind of noodle dish. I separate it by like the fillings, quote unquote, the noodles, a sauce, and then I just throw them all together at the end in my bowl, like directly into my bowl. Oh, I might also top it with some green onion because I have so much green onion right now. But yeah, that is what I'm having for dinner. You're gonna see it right now or you probably have been seeing it, but that is all for this week's video. I'm assuming that this is gonna be great. I never dislike a udon noodle dish, but yeah, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and I will talk to you in next week's video.